Hello everyone, Julia here, hello from Sweden and welcome to a new video. In today's video I want to show you my new journal, the newest addition to my uh, journal lineup. I started this journal sometime last month and it's a tea journal and I already showed this journal on my Instagram, showed some first few pages that I made in it and I, I was thinking about this kind of journal already for a while because I'm a huge fan of tea. I'm not really a coffee person. I drink coffee only when I go somewhere like to the cafe. I like cappuccino and latte but I don't drink coffee at home. Uh, I drink tea at home and uh, we have a really big collection of different kinds of tea at home because my husband also likes tea and I like to try new kinds of tea all the time and like search for something interesting, something that I haven't tried yet and I always saved the packaging from tea that I got and sometimes also included this packaging to to my daily journal for example or to some other journals but already for a while i wanted to start a dedicated tea journal because i drink a lot of tea especially in autumn and winter also spring and summer but especially in autumn and winter and i just thought that would be great to have everything in one place all all the teas that I try um, in one journal and just journal a little bit about those kinds of tea that I tried, if I liked it or not, and just save some pretty packaging tea, de tea bags or something from the uh, wrapping from the boxes in which it comes, because rather often tea packaging now is really, really cute and pretty and I like to save the pretty packaging. And yeah, I really like to save the pretty tea packaging. So this is my newest journal dedicated to tea. And so far, these are the pages that I made in it already. I already added quite a few different things. These were the things that I just had laying around that I saved uh, for later but never used. So I included everything what I had so far and will be slowly filling this journal with some new kinds of tea that I tried and uh, today I want to add a few new things um, and just show you a bit this journal and uh, what I do in it I got a few questions about it on Instagram so I thought that I can show you uh, what I do in this journal so I save tea bags uh, of the tea that I drank if it's something new and also packaging from from the um, boxes or those other kinds of bags that uh, tea comes in so always save that cut out some pieces of it and glue down to this journal so as you can see I already started here with a new page and I also got a birthday tea from a friend so I saved packaging from the tea as well and want to add it here and just make a, a quick new spread in this journal add a few things I have here in this folder a few things that I like to use in this journal some tea related stationery mostly it's stickers, some stickers, some stickers from my Etsy shop and also just some other stickers that I may want to use in this journal, something tea related and yeah, just a few papers that I may use um, and it's definitely not everything tea related that I have. I have way more stickers and tapes and stuff like that but I just put together a few things just to always to have it in this journal. So I think I will finish this spread now. I want to add these tea bags from the new tea that, that I got and 
I think there are a few more uh, new kinds of tea that I recently got, but I haven't tried them yet, so just will add this what I have now. And yeah, I think I will add both sides of the tea bags. They both they are both really pretty. And this one will save for, for something else. And also I sometimes save this tea labels, like if it's a tea bag, then usually there are also these paper labels on top and also save those. So there are many things that you can, can collect if you want to start your own tea journal. All kind of packaging is always great. And I will glue this down and then we'll decorate it with stickers. And I want to keep this journal really simple that I don't spend too much time on it because I already have so many different journals and I just don't want to spend too, too much time journaling about every single kind of tea that I tried because I, as I said I drink a lot of tea. So I want to keep it simple and mostly it's just uh, using the packaging tea bags or any other kind of packaging from tea that I drank and just gluing it to the page, decorating with some stickers or tapes and writing very very shortly if I liked this kind of tea or not and like kind of what I liked and what I didn't like, if I would like to get it again or not. I can definitely say that it's interesting to look through this journal and see all the kinds of tea that I tried before and just and if I want to uh, get something again or not, if I want to buy a new tea so just go through this um, journal and see if I would like to get one of these again or if I need to, uh, to buy a tea as a gift for someone then I also can refer to this journal, flip through the pages and see which kinds of tea I liked most of all and which ones I maybe can buy as a gift for a friend or relative. And I also often get tea, especially this uh, tea bags in uh, in a happy mail from friends or in usually it's just one tea bag, something, uh, something new to try. And I also include those here and sometimes they are really really nice, that's something that I really like and then maybe later I can find uh, that tea for myself and uh, buy like a full full pack of, of the tea. So I think now I will add a few papers or stickers and decorate this these pages and then we'll write something quickly. I think this orange stamped pages will fit really nice to this birthday tea that I got from a friend. So I will cut out these images. It's just some stamped images. I even don't remember when I got them or where, I, if it's my stamps or if I got them in the happy mail, I think I got them from someone in the happy mail. But it was really long time ago, so finally it's time to use them. I also recently added this new stickers to my Etsy shop with cinnamon buns and some pumpkin latte and autumn drinks and sweets and stuff like that. Also already uh, been using the stickers myself and some other journals, but I think these are also very fitting for, for this journal, especially the cinnamon buns, because it's one of the Swedish specialities. Sweden is really, really famous for uh, cinnamon buns, cinnamon rolls, 
and I love them. That's one of my favorite things ever and I often drink tea and eat a cinnamon bun so these are really fitting for for this tea journal. Uh, so I will be using some of some of these stickers as well. I have a few I have a few leftovers here in this um, uh, sticker release paper insert from Traveler's Company. This is like my autumn sticker insert. I put here all the stickers um, that I'm using, but I have all of them on one place and especially if there are just a few stickers left on the sheet that I don't have uh, many of those half empty sheets laying around. I uh, put all the stickers here in this insert. So I think I'm going to add a few of this um, cinnamon buns here. I actually recently ate a cinnamon bun. I think even when I was drinking this tea. So let's see. There is one here that I can add. I also will add one more right here. So the smaller ones too. I also will add here this girl who is oranges. It's not really tea related, but anyway, I think it will fit here really nicely. Let's add more of, of the cinnamon buns. I think I also will add a few of these cute hedgehogs because it's autumn and it's like an autumn tea spread, so why not to add a hedgehog? Also not really tea related, but that's very cute and I think it kind of fits to, to the spread in general. Also a few of the leaves because it's autumn time, autumn tea time. I really like to add many stickers to these tea spreads because I don't write a lot about the tea. Uh, so I like to fill pages with some um, stickers and I think it's also like this journal is also a great way to use some of my tea related stationery tea and sweets and all possible kinds of desserts because everything like that fits really nicely to this to this journal and it's a nice way to use some of those things. Let's see if I will add maybe a few more of the small stickers or not. Maybe this cup here. This arm that I left here, it's mostly coffee. But yeah, these are mainly tea related. Let's add a few more stickers. Okay, I think it's enough and now I will shortly journal about this few kinds of tea. And here is one that's one tea bag that's uh, one of my favorite teas from a tea shop in Sweden. I guess it's my favorite tea shop called Krenko and also this birthday tea. Okay, I think my spread is mostly ready. I only want to add maybe a few more tiny stickers like this dot stickers. Uh, let's see. Maybe also some of this with uh, little branches and flowers just to 
to fill the empty space because I'm not a minimalist at all and I don't like to leave empty space so let's see if I still want to add something somewhere okay I think now my new tea spread is ready really fast to make and I usually really like the result so my process in this journal is always the same and always really simple uh, first I glue down all the tea packaging that I want to include here tea bags or any other kind of packaging uh, if I don't have much time sometimes I just glue down the packaging that it's not just laying around and that I won't lose it so I just glue it to the page and leave it for uh, later and then decorate my pages with stickers and tapes and something tea related um, some tea related stationery mainly it's stickers and then write something very very short if I like this tea or not and yeah and that's that's all really quick and simple but I really like this journal so far I like how colorful it is and also I think it's a great way to recycle tea packaging not to throw it away but to include it in your journal and keep it uh, in your journal because usually now tea packaging is really really pretty and it's kind of sad just to throw it away and also for me it's a way to use my tea stationery I really like those bears these are so cute this is uh, herbal teas that I always drink in the evening and this is like a few different kinds from the same brand um, I really like the packaging of this tea it would be really sad to throw away this adorable bear it's really so cute I uh, also really like this one this one is a this is a herbal honey tea and there is a bear and a badger drinking tea together really cute yeah so i hope you liked this little video and my new journal i will sometimes show it on my instagram and maybe also here sometimes from time to time and as always thank you so much for watching and see you in my next videos bye